Hi, this is Brendan from Watto Training, and in this tutorial, we take a look at course evaluation questions you may ask a student on a feedback form. This tutorial specifically caters for car and heavy vehicle driving instructors. When you set out on a journey with a student um, to set up a training program, in a perfect world, it would start at point A and go to point B. The road would be smooth and the challenges would be minimal. But in reality, this may be more what the training program is like, where there's challenges at every step of the way. And success is stumbling from failure to failure, but with no loss of enthusiasm. So the trainer plays a very important role in working with their student on that journey. The student themselves plays an important role as well. So, at the end of the program, you'll get to the point of a course evaluation and reflect back on what that journey has been like together. So, some possible responses on a feedback form could be almost slash always, frequently, sometimes, rarely, almost never or never. So if you keep those possible responses in mind as we go through each of the questions that a trainer might choose to ask for feedback from a student, then you'll have an idea of roughly where they might sit. It's interesting as well, you may have your own ideas and sometimes you get feedback from students and you realize that there are some contextual factors that may come into the situation as well. Question one, the instructor was well prepared for lessons. So the instructor had a good idea on where they were going, what needed to be covered, and some, met some, some method about the way they went to things that really connected with the student. Question number two, the instructor showed an interest in helping me learn new skills. So learner-centered approach. The trainer knows what training plan and what curriculum they need to follow. But at the heart of that is assessing the learner's knowledge, skill and ability at each step of the way. Building upon strengths, focusing on areas that need improvement and facilitating that improvement. Also, managing any physical challenges along the way, such as poor weather, and also managing any emotional challenges along the way. You may have a learner who suffers from self-doubt or anxiety or nerves, etc. Number three, the trainer was polite, courteous, and respectful. Number four, the trainer made me feel safe and supported. Number five, I received useful feedback on my driving performance during lessons. This is one of the critical factors that sets trainers apart in terms of level of skill, in terms of managing their learner and progressing the learner through their training program. I put a high emphasis on trainer feedback to a learner. We've got more tutorials on that one uh, in our, uh, on our channel, so feel free to look at those. Number six, the learning resources, such as handouts, notes, online tutorials, matched my learning needs. So here's a diagram of a heavy vehicle going around a left corner, and we've got the do not overtake turning vehicle signs. So often visual handouts or cues such as this one can be really helpful because it puts the the view as a plan view up on top and the learner can see it and also as the trainer talks those visual cues start to sink in about how to manage that type of situation. So this handout could be useful for the heavy vehicle driver but could also be useful for the car driver as well to know not to duck up on the inside on the left for example. Number seven, the training was organized in a manner that helped me understand 
the foundational concept. So we've got a T-section here with a right turn. And so we're looking at here the giveaway rule. So the trainer assisted the learner in having an understanding of the giveaway rules and their application in various situations. Now that leads to higher order situations. So question eight, the basic training gave me the confidence to drive in more complex driving environments armed with the knowledge, sorry, with the necessary knowledge and skills. So we've got a situation here where we've got a blue car and it is taking a right turn at the traffic lights, which are gr a green circle. There's no turning arrows. So the give way rule needs to be correctly applied in this situation. Question nine. I believe that what I was taught by the trainer was important for the test as well as everyday driving. So the trainer is operating on a number of levels. There is generally an expectation that when there's professional tuition involved, that the learner will be getting prepared for that test experience, but also in the broader sense for everyday driving. And number 10, I would highly recommend this trainer and training to other students. Referrals are very important in driver training, important in all business, but um, that's a really good sign of, of how a trainer is going in terms of their impact on the learner and the fact that they will refer them on to their uh, friends and family and so on. Number 11, overall the training met my expectations in terms of quality. So there's usually an expectation of what will be covered, how it will be covered, when, where, and who it will be covered by. So the trainer needs to balance those expectations with the financial part of it as well to deliver the service within those frames of reference. Thanks for watching. This has been Brendan from Watto Training.